and time. Hello and welcome. Specialty coffee is something innovative, valuable and special. The relationship between every one of us is a single step of the coffee production chain from farmers to barista and then to consumers. Me, as a barista, I'm always trying to improve my coffee. I have noticed that this coffee is composed of different screen sizes. So, by using these sieves, I separated the beans. And the result was 50% of the screen size 17 plus and 50% of the screen size 16 minus. The screen size affects the amount of heat needed to roast the beans evenly. But we'll talk about how we roast this coffee later on. Then I've realized that the screen size 17 plus has lots of reddish beans in it. So as an experiment, I decided to hand sort the beans into green and then into reddish. We roasted them and cupped them. And I was really amazed how the reddish beans tasted. Blackberry and jasmine versus the taste profile of green, milk, chocolate and brown sugar. So this is the reason why today I'll use reddish beans for my espresso and signature beverage and green for my milk beverage. As a person and barista, I experiment a lot and I'm really happy that I found a farm that also experiments a lot. Now judges, let me prepare my signature shots and then I'll tell you more about this interesting coffee. Once again, welcome. Jemison Savage grows his coffee to its full potential in Chiriki region in Panama at his farm Finca Debra. The high altitude of 2,000 meters above the sea level gives to his coffee bright acidity and the extreme elevation reduced temperature slows the metabolism of the trees, permit the trees to push 50% more sugars into cherries during the production. And this gives us more sweetness in the cup Today, I'm happy to present you one of the best coffees I have ever tasted. It is an extended duration, yeast fermented and naturally processed geisha. After careful hand selecting of small amount of dark red cherries with bricks reading over 23, whole cherries are placed into a sealed container with a yeast inoculation strain added. Then, the cherries ferment in a yeast bath for more than 100 hours, allowing the yeast to consume a large portion of the fruit while creating a large amount of aromatic compounds. Then, they are placed on the raised African beds where they are slowly shade dried until reaching 10.5% humidity. This process elevates the acidity enhances the floral and fruity characteristics and also induces more body in the cup. Now judges, I'll let my extractions to cool down inside the siphon and I'll get back to them later. And now, inspired by what Jemison did in his yeast fermentation process, I would like to explain you how I made the first ingredient for my signature. I've used a method, a fermentation method, which doesn't produce any alcohol and it is called kettle souring. So I took 50 grams of fresh premium pineapple from Panama and placed it with six grams of brown sugar and 50 grams of a water inside the jar. Then I added one gram of Lactobacillus plantarum bacteria and left this for 20 hours in a temperature controlled environment of 38 degrees of Celsius. The Lactobacillus started the fermentation process, which means decomposing sugars while creating a lactic acid of a very complex profile, and my reduction became more balanced with structured fruity notes and aromatics. Such as Jemison's yeast strain did the work of creating unique, complex, and balanced fruity flavor profile in my coffee. So now, judges, I'll use four grams of this reduction inside my siphon, as this highlights the tropical fruit notes and also makes the acidity nicely structured. And now, judges, please relax and I'll prepare your espressos.
For all of my beverages today, I am using 20 grams inside the basket to take 50 grams out and the brewing temperature is 93.6. In front of you there are cards with all the information you need, so please, in case you lose anything, feel free to take them with you backstage. And now judges, let's write down the day's profile for my espresso. You will get flavors of blackberry, jasmine, pineapple, and milk chocolate. It will be sweet with balanced bitterness and medium refreshing malic acidity. The body is medium with silky texture and long pleasant finish of milk chocolate. Well, judges, firstly, please evaluate the crema, but wait with tasting until I tell you. And small glasses in front of you are for your used spoons. One for you. The last one for you, please enjoy. The reason why I ask you to wait is that when my espresso cools down a little bit, it becomes brighter. So now, judges, please enjoy the flavor of my espresso made from my radish beans. Yeah, please enjoy. For my milk beverages, I'm using 110 milliliter cups, and the recipe is one part of espresso to 3.5 parts of milk, because this is the ratio that pronounces the best, the flavor of my green roasted beans and the sweetness from my milk. The milk I'm using today is a blend of two parts, wall milk from a local dairy in the Czech Republic with a 4% fat content and a one part of a lactose-free milk, which is also full fat, because thanks to the lactose-free milk, I'm able to add into my milk beverages the extra sweetness. And now, judges, please, let's, let's write down the flavor profile. You'll get banana, white chocolate, brown sugar, and the hints of vanilla. Creamy texture. Full body. And long pleasant finish of dark chocolate. And now let's talk about roasting. My roaster George from the underdog by using a double drum roasting machine and different profiles achieved more aromatic coffee with greater body. Please enjoy. Paying attention to the convective energy transfer, we used low drum RPM and airflow for the first three minutes and then gradually raised them 
in order to roast the beans with higher convection. The total roast time was 11 minutes with the development ratio of 14%. We roasted this coffee just 12 days ago at a color track of 55 because this is the spot where we got the best balance between transparency of flavors. And as I've mentioned, I'm serving you 110 milliliter cups so you'll get more sweetness and greater body. One for you, please enjoy. And a taste description for you once again. You'll get banana, white chocolate, brown sugar, and hints of vanilla. Please enjoy. Now guys, finally, it's time for my signature beverage. In my home country, we have a garden where we grow blackberries. I've selected only the ripest fruit, such as Jameson is doing with his fruit, because I found out the same color gives more clarity. So I took 25 grams of them and placed them with 15 grams of brown sugar and 20 mils of water inside this bag. I sealed the bag to create an anaerobic big environment, such as Jameson is doing with his cherries, and then place them in a sous vide control temperature of 60 degrees for two hours in order to be homogenized. After that, I strained it to get perfectly clean syrup, and now I am using 25 grams of this inside my siphon, as this highlights in my signature the beautiful red fruit notes that you'll taste today as a raspberry. And finally, I'm blending all together using nitrogen, which brings into my signature creamy texture and also highlights all the tasting notes of my ingredients. Well guys, my signature will be a cold drink, and I am serving it in these wide-shaped glasses. So you'll get more aroma coming out while you are drinking it. So you'll get flavors of raspberry, jasmine, mango, and milk chocolate. Medium sweetness complemented by a medium acidity, which is nicely structured. And the texture is changing. In a first sip, it's creamy. Then in a second sip, it's more vibrant. Well guys, firstly, please, swirl with the glass and smell the aroma of raspberry and jasmine. And then enjoy the flavor of my signature beverage. The world of specialty coffee is giving us new opportunities every day and I am really happy I can be part of it. Thank you very much for your time and this is my time. Big round of applause for Wojciech from the Czech Republic. Wojciech, you just join me center stage over here. How are you feeling about your routine? Good, good. I really enjoyed it. Is there anything you want to say to your supporters out there still clapping for you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>